The Flying Falcons, the RAF Free Fall Parachute Display Team. Uh, based here at Abingdon, which is where all military parachutists receive their basic training. You are clear. Carry on. Let's up. Hands onto your hooks. Look below you and lower. Right. Legs back parallel to the ground. This time in. Go! All these techniques must be practiced over and over again until they become second nature. The Falcons gave up static line jumping a long time ago. They're free fallers, which means they open their own parachutes by pulling a rip cord. Right on, straight on. On this free fall stabilizer, a trainee can be taught how to put his body into the correct position for various free fall maneuvers. Right turn, check. Although a free faller falls at 120 miles an hour, he can, by using his body, turn right and left in mid-air. But first, he must master the basic free-fall position. If he doesn't, he'll find himself spinning out of control when it's time to pull his ripcord. And how to pull his ripcord is the one part of his training he never forgets. But actual free-falling can only be learnt in the air. On a man's first jump, he falls for five seconds before pulling his ripcord. Then, as he gets used to the idea, the aeroplane takes him higher and higher, and he falls longer and longer. The highest he can go without oxygen is 12,000 feet. From this height, he falls 10,000 feet over 60 seconds. And this is what the Falcons do at their displays. The morning of the Falcons display at the USAF base at Mildenhall. Before they go, there's a lot of work to be done. And all the parachutes have to be repacked after the previous day's practice jumps. All the members of the Falcon team pack their own parachutes. We're all issued with two parachutes each. That is two main parachutes and one reserve, I should say. And the, the two parachutes that we have, we pack every single time we jump them. The team has its own free-fall movie cameraman. Flight Sergeant Doug Peacock. I usually work with three or four men in the air at a time, and we have a very, very exact briefing, and I insist that they stick to it. And then it's up to, it's up to them to do what I tell them to do. And I've got to go out after them and position myself for the particular shot that I want. And provided everybody is exactly as he's told, then we can get some good results. This whole operation is done with split-second accuracy. The scheduled time of the Falcon's display is two minutes past three, and they're expected to keep to that time. At Milden Hall, the display is well underway. Falcon's Argosy from DZ Control. I confirm that the last drop-in instructions are final drop-in instructions. Over. Understand, all as before the service wind 063. All the information which comes up from the dropping zone party is carefully plotted on a map of the airfield by Alan Jones. Doug Peacock fits his special helmet with his camera mounted on one side, which of course makes his head lopsided to the tune of 10 pounds. All the Falcons jump with a number of smoke canisters attached to their ankles. They fire them when they leave the aircraft by pulling a string which runs up the side of their legs. This is so that the crowd below can see where they are in the sky from the moment they leave the aircraft. Falcons Argosy from DZ Control, you are clear to drop. Call for flare when required. DZ 
Test Control for Kajagasi. Finals for live drop cleared with Harrington Tower. Red on, stand by. At the last minute, a smoke canister is stuck out of one of the exit doors to help the crowd spot the aircraft. Sixty seconds, two thousand feet, pull. And the aircraft go up. You can see the parachutes now as they're opening all over the sky. And the RAF round, the red, white, and blue, is prominent against the background of this lovely blue sky. Now everyone's full of parachutes. This, in fact, is the Paracommander, which is a very sophisticated parachute. It's rather like driving a car. You can turn it, and as you can see already, they're starting to turn and make patterns in the air. With this number of parachutes in the air, you've got to wait your turn and do what you're told when the time comes. And now the first ones are coming down towards the impact point. As you can see, some come from the left and some come from the right. And now the first one's coming in to land. He'd be trying to stand and land, and he's, as you can see, he's landing now, it's a bullseye. They're coming in now, the last man coming in to land, and he's bang on target, right on the bullseye. And with a presentation to the Mildenhall base commander, the Falcons display comes to an end. <laughs>